morning. I would like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position. And also, please be advised, our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, AT&T, UVerse, the, <clears throat> the city of uh, guests, and YouTube channel, and WMGJ. The meeting of the guests and city council will not come to order. The chair will call on city clerk, Alvin Nelson, for the roll call. Councilwoman Tells here. <coughs> Councilman Williams here. Worthy here. Back here. Wilson here. Cannon here. And Reed here. We have a quorum present, and the meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Councilman Williams to leave the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the pledge of allegiance. Let us pray, Father God. We thank you for the opportunity to assemble today, Father. We thank you for those in attendance, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to serve, Father. We ask that you will continue to bless these proceedings, Father God. Touch them, Father God, with a liberal portion of civility, Father God. Touch all of those, Father God, who have concerns that, uh, that they need the city to address, Father God, that a quick resolution can be, can be reached, Father God. Thank you, Father, for the, for the liberal portion of grace that you bestowed upon this great city, Father God, and thank you for all of the good nature that great people that exist within, Father God, and through it all, we'll continue to give you the glory and honor and praise for it. In Jesus' name we ask it all. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes, the work session, city council meeting, and special call meeting held on June the 4th. So, so second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payments of accounts for the week of May 31st through June 6th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamation. Unfinished business, we have none. This is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution or an abatement of nuisance on property located at 1009 Avenue H in District 3. This is the State of Alabama Possible Redemption Rights of Paul Warford Jr. and Angela Cassandra Russell being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor? Madam President, I'm Brian Harbison. We filed this case involving two houses on one lot in October of last year. There have been no improvements, so there are no permits to improve. Mm -hmm. And we're asking today for a resolution to abate these nuisances. What is the pleasure of the council? Move to adopt. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution assessing nuisance abatement for the demolition on property located at 304 Morning View in District 2, Charles E. Posey and Kane Posey being the last known owners. The amount is $3,791.40. Is there anyone to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone to speak in favor? The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. 
So moved. <laughs> Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution assessing nuisance abatement for demolition on property at 101 Springdale Court in District 2. And this is Henry and Lula Higgins and State of Alabama being the last known owners. The amount is $3,791.40. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone to speak in favor? The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution assessing nuisance abatement for lien for demolition on property <coughs> located at 3603 West Megan Boulevard in District 6. This is FMA NP. LLC, subject to possible rights of redemption of W.R. and Gail McReynolds in the state of Alabama being the last known owners. And the amount is $2,541.40. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone who would wish to speak in favor? The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our final public hearing is a resolution approving an issuance of an alcoholic beverage license, 415 LLC DBA, the Rail Public House, has applied for a restaurant retail liquor license at 2010 Locust Street, Suite A. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone to speak in favor? The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. Move to move. adopt. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. We have one no. Motion carries to adopt. The next item is a resolution accepting conveyance of property located at 13, at 1013 Maryland Avenue, and the owner owners have offered to donate the property due to their inability to maintain the property. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any new business? Yes, Madam President, I have one. It's from the Transportation Department. I ask for unanimous consent. It's a resolution adopting Title VI plan update. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move for adoption, please. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Department reports. We have a citizen request, Fred Zaffery, 1109 Wayne Wright Avenue, this, under discussion. If you give your name and address, please. My name is Fred Zachary. My address is on the form where I requested to, to be here today. I would not like to. I'm my address publicly exposed. Thank you. I'm here, and thank you for allowing me to be here. I'm here because <clears throat> I was asked to be here or to come by someone who is not a family member, but a family member. Uh, the property that I'm talking about at 1109 Wainwright was scheduled to be torn down, and the utilities have been uh, cut off. Uh, 
it was determined that they should not be turned back on by the city. However, uh, went to court, the judge ordered uh, that uh, the city should assist in any way possible, the court order, with the restoration of utilities. Nobody was asking the city to give money to restore them, but to have the stop order removed. This was on the 24th of May when this order came. On the 7th of June, the water release was, uh, was done. So we missed 15 days in, in, in the preparation of doing what needs to be done to restore the property. Uh, the property belonged to uh, Lily Jones or Lily Harris, who worked at the library for 50 years or thereabouts at the city, and her daughter is attempting to restore it. I'm not trying to go back to what happened when. I'm talking about from a court order. She was told, and I was with her on several occasions, that the city, the waterworks department could not release because the city was still holding that release. And so the guy, to, I talked to him this morning, he said the release came on the 7th. That's 15 days after the court order. So she has lost 15 days. Also was told that uh, no permit would be granted. I looked at the ordinances and went back to code, state code, and so forth. There's no such state code that when a court order is issued that you don't have to have a permit. And so I'm going to ask a couple of rhetorical questions. Uh, would the people driving around checking these sites know uh, that uh, no permit was required? Because none would be displayed if uh, you can't get one. And I thought the city wanted revenues for those kind of permitting situations. So to me, it's attenuous, it's attenuous to uh, respond to a court order in such a slow manner. And, and, and in fact, disregard the court order. So I'm asking this council to be lawful and, and the mayor to be lawful in this approach to how it deals with citizens because this was bullying and it was not lawful. It was a disregard for a court order. So that's why I'm here today. The water release has come. So that came on the 7th. So there's no need to, to take folks through undue hassle and headache when they're trying to do what is right. Thank you. Mr. Harvison. Madam President, I have a copy of the court order, a uh, copy for each council representative. And just so the uh, council understands what we're dealing with here. This is litigation that's been filed <coughs> on property where the city council had previously issued an order to abate. So I'm sitting with two orders that I'm facing, one from the city council to abate and one from a judge to restrain from demolition. We have restrained from demolition. You'll see nowhere on that order where we are to issue a building permit. I've been doing what I'm doing for over 28 years. I testify in court as an expert witness. I'm a certified building official by the International Code Council. I know what I'm talking about. We cannot issue a building permit when there's litigation on property. The city has released both water and power on this property. We deal with hundreds of properties, hundreds of cases that we present to the council. If we're 15 days late on restoring or allowing the restoration of utilities, I would apologize to the owner for this. But as you're well aware, this case has been going on for months. I allowed the, the property owner almost six months to remove personal items from this house and held off issuing the order to, to demolish, which we could have done at any time, because that's an order. That's a, that's a recorded, filed order by the city council. So we work with the property owner, giving her more than enough time to get her personal belongings from the house. She at no point 
displayed any interest in abating this herself or selling this property. And I understand at the last minute, they had someone who came forward that had that plan and I explained the process to her. So she went and found an attorney and we're in court on that case. That's what we do. Council has any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Mr. Tropsey, can I just ask you one about this on number three here? It says the plaintiff shall at all times continue to show satisfactory progress to the court on repairs or performance at that address necessary to rectify the issue of the nuisance abatement action. So if they're on that property working with, without a permit, would they get fined? No. And we told the owner, and we've, we've explained through the owner, this is the first time I've, I've seen Fred. Uh, he's, he hasn't made an appointment to see me or talk to me. Uh, I, I assume he would rather present his case at the microphone, uh, and that's fine. But uh, we explained to the owner and through the owner to him he did not need a permit to work on this. There's litigation. I'm not going to issue a building permit when there's litigation filed. But we've given them the right to work on it. And if anybody drives by and stops in his words and wanting to know where a permit's filed, they can refer that individual to me. That rests on my shoulders. I was just reading this, and I just want to be clear about it for myself. Does not say anything about issuing a building permit. No. Had the judge included that in his order, they would have, there would have been a building permit issue. We abided by the judge's order. All right. Okay, so you. it's legal for them to work on it without the permit? Yeah. As long as it's permit legal. Permit is okay. the least of their concern. Okay. As Johnny read in item whatever it is, three, that yeah, number three. They, they need to, to, to be making improvements okay. to that. To that situation. Well, typically, uh, Mr. Harbison, what evidentiary items will have to be presented? They've got a hearing. It looks like they've got a hearing on the 12th. What evidentiary items will have to be presented to show compliance to number three? They will need to show evidence that improvements are, in fact, being made. Yeah. Building permits, not one of those. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Remarks by the council. Mayor, Mayor, you have any comments? Okay. Councilman Williams? I don't have anything. Don't have anything. Councilman Back. I just want to <coughs> congratulate uh, Dee and Jamie Grimes and Matt and Jenny Skelton at for the Rail Public House. I look forward to that being open. We appreciate your investment in the process in the city and just wish you all the luck in the world and uh, best of luck. That's all. Thanks. Councilman Wilson. Um, I have a, a community a community meeting on Monday, uh, next Monday at 5.30 p.m. at the Gadsden Public Library. Uh, also want to say a, a big congratulations to uh, my Auburn Tigers on advancing to the College World Series yesterday um, in a very impressive fashion. So we made it to the Final Four and now the College World Series in the same year. So, War Eagle. I don't have anything today. Councilman Reed. Nothing, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing, and I don't have it in front of me, but just like to thank our finance director, uh, Lisa Rossa. She gave a good report and it's, uh, it is evident that the city is doing fine. Um, occupational sales, or not occupational, but occupational uh, funds are up, and so sales are up. And so we're doing fine as a city. We're not in the black. We're, we're not in the red. We're still in the black. So I want to thank Lisa Rossa for all the work that she does in helping us to stay in line and stay in our lane as far as spending uh, money for the city, so we're doing fine as a city. If there's nothing else, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Second.